What's up, people? It's Tough Thumbs here again. I'm showing off some more of my G10 work. Right here, I got a Tenacious that I just just finished, like literally, like five minutes ago. I just finished. Um, what I did here is a little bit different. I tried to go, went a little bit crazy with this one. Um, what it is is a Jade Green, Jade Ghost Green scales, um, but I dyed them. I dyed them a nice blue color. Yeah, you know, they used to be this color right here. You can see I'm a Delica. So there's quite the difference going on there. You can dye it pretty much any color. And uh, it turned out really cool. I just used some regular, uh, I forget what it's called, RIT or something dye. But um, I dyed it and uh, put this uh, kind of like, I guess, a rock type pattern in it. Just kind of like all over the place. Not like anything organized like a uh, Super Leaf was or any of my others, but um, really like the result a lot. Um, this knife was a bit of a pain in the ass just because you know these tenacious, you know the screws are not the greatest for uh, taking stuff apart. I mean you could strip one of these with one one time just taking it apart, but luckily I got tons of extra screws for tenacious and the resilient and the ambitious, so you know no worries there. And also you can pretty much easily get them their standard size. But, um, yeah, this is kind of like a royal blue, which is really looks pretty fantastic. Um, it's pretty different. I mean, it's a lot nicer in person, of course, but, uh, as you can see, it's a cool pattern. I like it a lot. I'm probably going to use this on other knives. I'm going to try to make the upper area, like this part sticking out, the shinier areas, a little bit more glossy maybe or a little bit more rough maybe even but uh really like the way this turned out um yeah it's uh it's a pretty great knife i love the tenacious i also uh and I, I tend to do this with the tenacious and the resilience i sand it or grind it down here take that little point off i just think it looks a little bit more a little better without that uh, point on there. It's a little bit a little bit more classy, I guess you'd say. But um Yeah, definitely uh you guys, I mean, I've been like basically whoring myself out here non stop on YouTube, but yeah, you know, I got a I got a lot of uh knives supposedly coming, hopefully. And um you know, a lot of people are saying they're gonna send them and everything, but it seems like a lot of you guys are broke as well as I'm so <laughs> Yeah, no, no worries about that, but you know, I can't wait to get started on them. Uh, I have some definites coming this week, and some maybes this week also. Um, but any, any, a lot of questions about G10. Any color you want, I can get. Uh, have it here, most likely before your knife even arrives, if you send it. Uh, as long as you confirm that you're, you want to get it done and everything. And uh, you know, I do PayPal and all that stuff, so make it easy on you guys if you want to do money order or whatever. I don't even care. Even if you want to send cash, I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know, it's not safe, but, you know, whatever. Whatever's the easiest for you guys. Um, but, um, you know, just been really excited about this, guys. So, and I really appreciate all your feedback. It's been very encouraging for me um, to see that you guys actually like my work. And I hope it just gets better and better. And, um... Yeah, and uh, I'm going to probably have a contest somewhere down the road once I get started and stuff, like once I get more knives finished and uh, make a little bit of cash off of it. Definitely have a contest for, you know, free custom scales on a knife of your choice, but that's not going to be for a little while until I get started on this, and hopefully I don't get, like, well, hopefully I do get inundated with, like, a ton of orders, but, you know, I will make time for you guys because, you know, YouTube's the shit. You guys are awesome. Uh, the comments are great, and uh, i just really like to thank you guys, but, uh, you know, this is a little rough still because it's not sanded and polished or anything like that. So you can see like the uh, the raw G10 white in there, which kind of looks cool actually. But uh, so yeah, definitely have more more videos. I got a couple more I want to show you guys. But thanks for watching. Peace.